Hi folks, this is Jay. We are visiting a very special garden on Garden Walk Buffalo. This is the Wee House in the Amwood Village area by Michelle. So we're with the owner and gardener Michelle here. Can you see a Hello, quick Hello, welcome to Garden Walk. Yeah, thank you for sharing your garden with us. Oh, you're yeah. very welcome. Can we join you on a walk in your garden? Absolutely. Yeah. But this is such a such a special place. <laughs> so I guess the first thing people notice will be the structure, the house. Yeah, tell us a little bit about this house. Yes, the wee house. We built it all ourselves about For, 17 years ago. Oh wow! So uh, <laughs> from scratch, my oh, husband wow. and I, and uh -huh. one other very dear friend uh -huh. built it. It's about 600 square feet. Yeah. Open plan, yeah. cozy, cozy. Yeah. Heated floors. Uh huh. Um, yeah. So, but but you but you we wouldn't consider it. this as a tiny house. Not no. a tiny house. No, yeah. I think tiny houses are about you know two fifty, three hundred square oh, feet. Okay. So this is maybe two tiny houses yeah. put together. Yeah, it's a good size. Still uh, pretty, yeah. pretty smallish though, but we yeah. love it. It's just yeah. you know it's just enough. You mm -hmm. you daily curate your stuff that you have, and you exactly. you're left with things that are dear and essential to you, yeah. and um, important. Yeah. So of so course, this the garden is very important to us yeah. and. Uh -huh, exactly. Um, so, so we are now standing uh, in the front yard garden area. Yes. Yeah, and you have this circular, uh, like right. a landing area. It is a landing area yeah, uh -huh. um, in the middle of a path. The yeah. idea was that perhaps people would like to, since we're on a corner, maybe uh -huh. cut right through oh, wow. the corner and you yeah. know come right through our garden. So you don't mind people walk through our garden? We do not, no. Well, and the circular area yeah. is a wonderful place. Usually there's a bench here, yeah. but you know, so, so, we so set I, up chairs and we mm -hmm. eat our dinner here just about oh, wow. every night during the summer. So uh, I assume those are found objects you use <laughs> right. to deck? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some of the stones we purchased and someone gave us this actually as a wedding gift, oh, our wow. friend Vicky, and then um, little pieces of glass. Yeah, there are uh -huh. some old coins in here. Some other found, yeah, found uh, stones objects. and little yeah. treasures well, wedged in there. This is very beautiful. Such yes. a charming garden area. Oh, thank you. Yes, you have. You also have uh, uh, this border. It's a mixed border because you have the evergreen in the back with yes. the perennial and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and also with some of the shrub over there. Right, it's mostly, yeah. mostly perennials. I think there's only a couple annuals in here. Um, native plants. Mm -hmm. And yeah. my goal the past couple of years has been not only natives, but to provide for uh -huh. um, the animals and oh, wildlife. Yeah. So it is a certified wildlife habitat. A wonderful. So yeah. we have, I've removed a lot of um, what I consider to be just pretty flowers <laughs> in favor of uh -huh. burying shrubs and things yeah. that would provide yeah. seeds and mm -hmm. things for birds and other yeah, animals. That's a very good idea. Mm -hmm. and, the, I, and I see you have an extra large bird bath here. <laughs> and this yes. is just to provide even more more dramatic oh, contrast with the house because this is a wee house. It's a smaller <laughs> house, <laughs> but know. you have an extra large bird Yes, it looks heavy bath. duty. And we are so lucky because you know what? This was here uh -huh. when we bought the lot. Wow. It was in the middle of the lot. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And uh, one note I want to make to share with the viewer is so for the bird bath, you really want a shallow bird bath. Right, right. It's important. If it's a deep bird bath, it can be dangerous right. to the birds. So you see, this is a wide but very shallow bird bath. Birds mm -hmm. would really enjoy this kind of a. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, it's such fun to watch them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. I see so you have the. This is a type of bee bomb, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And uh, lilies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're so lovely. Leatris uh -huh. and butterfly weed. Oh, butterfly weed. Yeah. And this will be in, you know, early in the fall, late summer. This uh -huh. will be a very um, beautiful deep purple asters. Aster. Yes. Oh, so this will be another plant provide uh, nectar later mm -hmm. in the season right, for right. the pollinators. Yep. Try to have yeah. color, you know, yeah. the whole yeah. the whole season. We have the Crocosmia mm -hmm. with the red flower, just yes. stunning. I and boy, does it attract hummingbirds. Yes, oh, I was going to say here. that. Because they've they been here the past week. Yeah. Zipping around. So not only it's they have fun. this ornamental value, they're providing food mm -hmm. in the ecosystem, which exactly. is just lovely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we are moving along the side of the house. And uh, can we show people the sign, sure. the wee house? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We've always had two little terriers. Oh yeah. So I had that made mm -hmm. yeah. for us. So should we enter through the side? Yeah, we'll sneak through the side yeah. here. 
Okay, so this is like a secret passage. <laughs> it, I mean, give you a sense of uh, uh, seclusion, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, because the garden is on the other side of the house, once you make the turn at the corner, right. the entire backyard just yeah. appeared in front of your eye, which just add a sense of uh, uh, drama or surprise. Mm -hmm. So, the, so you mentioned the, the backyard is more like a woodland. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> that's my job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she says, who's back here? Yes, yeah. yeah, so this is the more private space. And uh -huh. I've tried to keep it more woodlandy, as I said, because yeah. I love that. Uh -huh. So it's, it is more shady. Uh -huh. um, there are some pops of color. Yeah, I can um, see that. But I do love green, just sh yeah, different, different shades, shades of, of green. green, different textures. Yeah is my favorite. Yeah. I have and to I say. noticed you use different uh, type of uh, ground cover. You have a mm -hmm. uh, beautiful, really beautiful moss along with the creeping jenny and uh, this right. is some type of sedum. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, hi. Uh, oh, there's no one allowed back here, though. Oh, really? Yeah, if you can go. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So, so we are uh, actually visiting the uh, v, uh, v House by Michelle during Garden Walk Buffalo. We had a whole day of rain, so people are. I mean, now people are starting to really uh, partake in the Garden out. Walk. So this is uh, some some sort of a wide strawberry you mentioned. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. just happened to uh, show yeah. up, and yeah, I said, lovely. I love it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah and beautiful. actually the moss originally was not intentional. Oh, um, okay. I've kind of, you know, focused on it now and brought more mosses in, but this yeah. whole path used uh -huh. to be just stone, and a yeah. small patch of moss started yeah. And I love you enlarging. used the uh, lady's mantle mm -hmm. uh, on the edge. Lady's Be mantle, lots of ferns. The yeah. creeping, what's that, creeping jenny is a lovely... Um, yeah. Jam. Lovely so, limey color that really so, just pew, brightens yeah. up their greens. Yeah. So those would be the wood drop. Drew, uh, Correct. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. They have the white flower early in right, the season. Right. They're really lovely. Yes. Yeah. So I think this is a perfect example of using different shades of green to create this such a stunning garden. You you don't need a 100 different color in your backyard. You don't. No. Yeah. Just some color that you really enjoy then use a splash of color mm -hmm. to provide uh, a little bit of extra so can we walk towards the gate because it's quite special the gate mm -hmm. in the backyard has the bird and the pine cone and with the <laughs> branches so i so you painted the branch uh, right. as the handle right <laughs> yeah. yes yeah. i'm an artist so i, I uh -huh. enjoy painting and mm -hmm. making ornamentation yeah. So my husband built the um, the back fence uh -huh. here, and we decided a door was essential. And I said, oh, let's yeah. make it house-shaped. And I was originally going to paint it all red uh -huh. to, um, you know, be a duplicate of our own red house. Uh -huh. But then it, yeah. it became something else, a little yeah. red house at the yeah. top. So I want to make a point here, because this handle, mm -hmm. not only it provides ornamental value, it has right. a purpose, it has Found a function. Branch. Yep, it does. Yeah, <laughs> just beautiful. Yes. And, uh, and birds are kind of my theme. Yeah, I can tell. For actually yeah. the whole uh -huh. the whole garden, front yeah. and back. Yeah, let's show viewer the view of this backyard. You have this winding, mossy passage in the backyard, different shades of green and chartreuse. Mm -hmm. And then you use uh, the square shape in the container and also mm -hmm. a footstool. They provide uh, some sort of a structure in the garden. Yes. And uh, the chair, the umbrella, and the container they also add on um, additional color. This is just stunning. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. So let's walk towards this. So I believe this is a this is a raspberry, right, in the container. Yes. Uh -huh. Kind of an experiment this year yeah. is to uh, yeah. try some berries. Yeah. I put them in a container. I was a little afraid that they might start um, spreading everywhere. Oh yeah. The I also planted, these are red raspberries, I also have a couple different mm -hmm. kinds of black raspberry oh, bushes, wow. the Navajo uh -huh. berries in front, uh -huh. and then I just put this one in. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So I'm tell really me about, about this area. So you decorate this area with yeah. the found branch, yeah. right. and you make them into a piece of art. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Someone uh -huh. was tossing out this bush that had died, uh -huh. and it was a nice yeah. sturdy wood mm -hmm. element. So mm -hmm. I placed yeah. it in there and gave yeah. it some bright uh -huh. colors. So so this will be the most uh, this will be the color palette you particularly enjoy. Right. Yeah, yes. the purple yeah. and orange. Yeah, the yeah. warm colors and then the contrast of the bright green and yeah, the purple. Yeah. 
Oh, so you have there. some birdhouse hanging from the tree. Yeah, that we've I, had um, that families almost... of wrens living here. Oh, I thought yeah. they would leave after they nested uh -huh. in the one red house. Oh, I see they're singing. Um, they're, I yes. can see them. Maybe the viewer cannot spot it by, but we can see the, the little wren. Bird. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're very yeah. vocal. Yeah. They are. Oh, they're wonderful. <laughs> they had yeah. babies, and I thought they would leave, but, you know, they kind of stuck around, so oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah. Well, it's hard to imagine in the middle of a city, <laughs> you have this kind of a, uh, you're able to create the garden with a sense of uh, serenity and exactly. also sheltered from the surrounding area. Right. To become a sanctuary for the wildlife, for the birds, mm -hmm. which is just so lovely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, we are with Michelle at the wee house on the Garden Walk Buffalo in the Amut village area. So you may notice this house because it's a small house, but there are so many interests in the garden. So come to visit the, the wee house on Garden Walk Buffalo. You will not be uh, disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Michelle, for oh, sharing you. your garden. Thanks for coming. It's my pleasure. And enjoy Garden Walk. Thank you. <laughs>